Hi guys, today we'll discuss about top diagnostic software for Japan cars. Uh, we'll start from the Mazda. Uh, Mazda has uh, a few diagnostic software which you can use. Also, all programs will work in, as a rule, will work in with uh, J2534 devices and uh, with uh, normal uh, dialers, uh, original or clone tools. So for Mazda, uh, as a lot, a lot of people knows, it's a Mazda EDS, uh, which works uh, as a rule on VMware with Windows 7, even the last versions. It's a, a simply configured system, uh, ready configured, but uh, you can you can install it and uh, directly without VMware. Uh, this is this uh, two two kind of installations works uh, with offline mode if you want to use uh, with uh, original license which uh, support um, uh, updates uh, all-time updates uh, acceptable to download calibration files for your cars uh, you can use it uh, there is only one way to there is only only one options for Mazda EDS license it's for one year, uh, for one year, but this year is calendar year. It means it uh, works from the first of January to thirty uh, first uh, of December. So if you want to start uh, with this license, uh, not from uh, from the first of January, the price uh, will be every time change. Then uh, uh, less times, uh, less time to end of of the year. Uh, we are this software you can use uh, you can uh, diagnostic and uh, update uh, electronic uh, EQ uh, for uh, six generation of vehicles Mazda and earlier for uh, newer uh, device for newer cars uh, like uh, seventh uh, generation vehicles you need to use uh, Mazda and DARS uh, software, which uh, works only with a uh, original uh, license, which you can buy for three days, thirty days, uh, or one year, three hundred sixty-five days. And uh, um, DARS Mazda EDS also works only with uh, VCM2 uh, devices, original or clone. And DARS uh, can works with VCM or pass through J2534 devices. Uh, it works uh, for cars uh, like Mazda 3 from uh, 2019, uh, Mazda CX-30 from 2020 and uh, Mazda CX-5 from 2021 and the new models which will be uh, on the line of Mazda. Also, there is another uh, software of Mazda, it, uh, which works only with the official license 2 uh, for 3 30 days or one year. Uh, each, uh, it has name Mazda MMP, it's a PCM Reflation J2534 2 uh, software. Uh, it works with J2534 devices, but uh, you can calibrate only PCM EQ uh, via this uh, software because uh, medium speed can models uh, for BCM models and others cannot uh, be reflection using J2534 devices. So if you need to, uh, to work uh, with BCM and other blocks and other ECUs, you need to use Mazda EDS. Uh, next, uh, next software on my list is uh, uh, Honda. Honda, it seems uh, most of simple uh, programs uh, for installation, for using. Uh, it works with uh, J2534 devices and uh, with uh, Honda dialers uh, tools. Uh, it has uh, uh, Honda HDS, Honda eHDS, uh, J2534 IQ rewrite uh, models, uh, IMO tool, and the database of calibration fields. It's, uh, it's a full kit of uh, installation uh, files, installation programs, which you, uh, which uh, our uh, proposing for our clients. 
so next, uh, and it works with the new and the old old versions of uh, of Honda. Also, for all of programs, uh, if you need to use um, uh, some functions on like emo, emo uh, you need to have online. Uh, you need to have online access for online server. It means it works for uh, things. Uh, I think I think uh, for uh, any uh, cars, for example, for for Japan cars, which we are talking today, uh, also for Honda too. Uh, so next uh, next software after Honda, it's uh, uh, it's Isuzu for Japan cars. Uh, it's not uh, the cars, but uh, it's Japan's too. Uh, for this uh, for this uh, brand, you can use uh, uh, several programs like uh, Isuzu J IDSS, Isuzu IDSS, Isuzu e, ID, uh, yeah, e IDSS, yeah, yeah. And uh, it uh, each uh, each software you can use uh, different uh, for your region for where where, where the car was made. So you can choose, you can choose and uh, use it. Uh, some programs uh, of this uh, is from this Isuzu uh, can work with the original VCI. Some works with uh, pass through like uh, Mexic, uh, but you need to know that uh, you need to have you need to have a VCI which uh, supports uh, 24 voltage because it's uh, not. Uh, cars, it's uh, trucks. Next car brand, it's uh, Mitsubishi. Uh, it's a uh, all known program Mitsubishi Mode 3, uh, which uh, you can use with calibration or without calibration fuels. And uh, for it's for cars, for trucks, uh, Mitsubishi, Mitsubishi Mode 3, FUSA. It's uh, some, some version of Mode 3. It works only with the uh, trucks, and uh, you need to use uh, for FUSA only the same name, uh, with, uh, the same name VCI. Uh, for Mood 3 vehicles, for Mood 3 cars, Mood 3 cars version, you can use uh, the same name tool or J2534 devices. But for to do it, uh, you need to install J2534 drivers ma uh, manager. Uh, which uh, make it real. Uh, so next uh, next program after Mitsubishi it's uh, Nissan. Nissan has several programs. Uh, first of my my list it's uh, Nissan Earth. Uh, Nissan Earth it's software for uh, reprogramming a cool of Nissan. Uh, there is a few versions. One, it's a flying version. It's a three version. Uh, it works. Uh, uh, it works both of uh, NERS and it works with the J twenty five thirty four devices. And uh, next uh, NERS, it's in this uh, four version. It works online. It uh, you can use it for cars from nineteen ninety nine to twenty nineteen. And uh, uh, after when you buy the license, uh, you need to uh, download uh, calibration files. Uh, it seems uh, on one or two days after buying the license. For J twenty five thirty five devices, you can use also Nissan Consult Plus R two R. It works only with the official license, uh, which you can use, uh, which you can buy for one day, uh, thirty days, or one year. And there is a uh, there is an additional mode for this uh, model for this uh, software for GTR Nissan GTR. It works with the uh, JW2534 uh, only post through devices uh, for cars, which was uh, which was made uh, after. Uh, 2018 and new years. Uh, also, there is a, uh, another program, it's a Nissan Consult Plus 3 Normal. It works for uh, the same MVCI, 
original clone, but clone uh, works only with old versions, it seems uh, 65 or something like that, because it has uh, uh, because it, uh, they have a uh, firmware, old firmware, which uh, can't be updated, uh, that's why new versions can work with them. And if you have original uh, tool, uh, original tool in Sun Consult, you can use it uh, with all of versions, even mm -hmm. with new. Uh, also, uh, it works in Sun Consult uh, 3, uh, 3 Plus works with a uh, J25 Plus 2 devices, uh, but only with the uh, version 73 or 80, 80, 81 version. It's uh, a version from uh, 2018 year. So new, there is new versions. There are new versions of Nissan Consult, but they don't support uh, J25 34 devices. And uh, you must know that. Uh, if you want to use the J25 34 devices, uh, the function functions will be uh, coded because uh, this interface uh, doesn't support all. Uh, uh, don't work with uh, 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 different speed speed of can uh, can bind to to work with it. Uh, like uh, the same situation, like uh, it's, it's the same situation with I think there is a lot of, with uh, all all of uh, Japan and uh, not only Japan software uh, cars. So when you use J2534 devices as a rule, it, they support not all functions like uh, the dialers uh, VCI. So you you need must know to know. Uh, for example, for, for Nissan Consult, you can't update a uh, cool we are this VCI. Uh, for for Nissan uh, trucks, there is uh, some old version of Nissan, uh, which names Nissan Diesel UD software. So next on my list uh, after Nissan, it's uh, mm -hmm. it's a uh, Subaru. Uh, Subaru works with uh, Subaru Select Monitor 4. Uh, it's a uh, program for cars, uh, for new cars, uh, for old cars. So there is Select Monitor 3, uh, but Select Monitor 3 works with the same name VCI. It's some old VCI, and uh, this program does not support uh, J2534 devices. Uh, but for new cars, you can use uh, the Subaru VCI or J2534. Just need to configure drivers. This program is our problem. And next uh, on my list is Suzuki SDT, SDT2 uh, program for Suzuki cars, and uh, it works uh, with uh, Suzuki uh, Suzuki VCI and with the J2534 devices, but not with all. Uh, I saw the example. I saw the experience uh, when we configure it VCM for VCM two devices to to for VCM two devices uh, with this program but uh, not uh, it was a clone tool but not uh, all of uh, this kind of VCI works with that because it seem, it seems uh, different of uh, <coughs> hardware inside of drivers and uh, so you need to know it so the program install installation, this program not difficult, but the configure drivers it's not easy. Uh, if it, uh, if you will not have uh, lucky with your VCI. So next uh, next one is the Toyota uh, Toyota Lexus uh, use Toyota Dash Stream software uh, with uh, we can inst make installation uh, with calibration files too to code in uh, your cars. And it has uh, English and some old uh, Russian version, uh, if you need. Uh, for also for Toyota, there is a, another another uh, software, uh, but it's only for Supra. Um, but it's not so. But it's not uh, uh, Toyota. I I call I I would like to call it uh, by Toyota BMW. BMW because it's uh, 
it only looks outside uh, as Toyota and, and inside interior it's uh, only from BMW and the uh, engine and some other some other parts uh, so uh, for diagnostic uh, Toyota Supra you need to use the Toyota Ista it's it looks like uh, like BMW uh, software uh, but has a different uh, databases files uh, so it's a different installation of this program and you need to have installed the other stream to use it to use the software so this is uh, all pro all most important uh, most uh, using programs for japan cars if you need help to install them you can ask uh, by the link under video uh, if, you need, if you have some questions or propose to do uh, some of it like that video for the future you you can also write under the video and you can subscribe to see more interesting video for today it's all bye